see the before and the after. In my previous video, I explained how I got this dark line skin tone using Capture One. And someone asked me to do the same thing, but this time using Lightroom. So let's jump right into the video. And as usual, I've already created a Lightroom preset for this color grading. So this is the preset right here. And I'm giving that for free. So I'll be leaving a link where you can download this Lightroom preset in the description below of this video. Now to get that dark line skin tone, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll come to my white balance. Under this adjustment right here on the develop tab. So click on the adjustment area to see white balance. I'm just going to take the white balance towards the blue side a little bit like this because I feel the image is looking too warm. All right, so like this works for me. And after that, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and just come to the saturation right here and just take down the saturation of the overall image a little bit like this just to remove those reds on the image. So see the before and the after. Now from what I'm going to do, Looking at this image, you can see the image lack contrast. So I'm going to add contrast to this image right now. So I'm going to scroll the way down and just come to my curves adjustment layer and create an S curve to add contrast. So to create an S curve, I'm just going to put one pin on the shadow area and just drag it down and come to the highlight area and just drag it up like this to add contrast to the image. So just play with the dots and add to add more contrast. I'm going to take this black down to add more contrast. So like this works for me, all right? Now if you want to follow along, I'll be leaving the link where you can get this well file in the description below of this video as well. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to select only the skin of the subject and work on the skin of the subject separately and also select the background and work on the background separately, okay? So to do that, I'll come to this masking option right here inside of Lightroom. I'm going to click on masking right here and under the masking, I'm just going to wait for it to load. So you can see these people right here and like these people, I'm going to click on this person one and just wait for it to load. It will automatically detect the person for me. So you can see right now we have the entire person. We have the facial skin. We have the body skin. We have the eyebrows. So what we are focusing on is the skin. So we're going to select the facial skin right here. Okay. As well, I will select the body skin right here. And from here, just scroll all the way down and just click on create mask like this. Once you create that mask, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hide this overlay around it. So I'm going to click on this overlay right here and just hide that overlay around it. So right now, my skin tone is selected. So I'm going to scroll the way down and just come to this point color right here. So for this point color to be your light room, you have to be using the latest version of light room. All right. So I'm going to click on this point color right here and just sample this color right here from the skin tone. Now, once I start for that color, pay close attention. I'm going to scroll the way down. And under this range, I'm just going to move this range up to 100%. And if you can't find this hue range, hue saturation range, and luminous range, just click on this arrow right here. This drop down arrow, I'm just going to show. Now, for what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this feather up a little bit just to expand the range like this. And also, I'm going to expand the saturation range. So that I can actually get the whole colors of the skin tone and also expand the luminous range, which is the lightness range to get the whole lightness of the skin tone. After that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll the way up and you can see that here we have the hue shift, saturation shift and luminous shift. From here, I'm going to be targeting the saturation and the luminous of the skin tone. So since I want that dark line skin tone, I'm just going to come to the saturation and just take the saturation down a little bit, just like this. I feel it's too much. Take it up a little bit. Now I'll come to the luminous and just take the luminous down a little bit to add that dark rich tone. So I'll take it down a little bit just like this. So let's look at the before and after. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to add contrast to only the skin tool. So I'm going to be using curves again. So I'm going to scroll the way down and just come to curves. Remember, our skin tone is still selected. We are working only on the skin tone with this mask right here. So once I come to the curves, I'm just going to create another S curve. So I'm going to put a pointer here and just take it down. Also, put a pointer towards the highlight parts and just take it up to create an S curve. Now I feel it's looking too much. So I'm going to come to the shadow area and just take it up a little bit just like this. All right? So like this works for me. So I'm going to add a little bit of lightness to the skin tone. I feel it's looking too dark now. So I'll come to this point color again, come to this luminous shift and just move it up a little bit to add a bit of brightness to the skin tone. All right, so see the before and the after. Now let's work 
on the background. So to work on the background, I'm going to come to create mask again. Click on create mask and just click on background right here. Now from here, I'm going to use this point color tool to see sample any color from the background. All right, now I'm going to scroll all the way down. Also, I'm going to move this range to 100% so that I can get the whole colors on the background. All right, now after that, I'm also going to move the hue range to get the whole colors, move the saturation range, and also move the luminous range just like this. Now from here, I'm just going to play with the saturation and the luminous as usual. So first of all, I'm going to take the luminous down just to darken the background. So you can take it all the way to 0% if you want. So I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, minus 64 works for me or 67. So I'm going to take the saturation down a little bit as well to remove the colors from the background. All right, so see the before and the after. The before and the after. And this way you can get that color grading using Lightroom. Also, you can apply the same color grading on this image right here. I already created a preset for it. So this is the preset right here. So I want to click on this um, Silence uh, Melanin Lightroom right here. So once I click on it, it's just going to apply that preset to this image right here. So you can see it as soon as you apply it. And the good thing about this is that you also have the mask right here. So it will automatically mask out your balance for you and also automatically mask out your subject for you. And you can choose to play with the adjustments if you want to make any adjustments. So right now, I feel the screen tool of this one is looking a bit too dark. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the exposure and just increase the exposure just like this. So let's see the before and after. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. And if you want to learn how you can actually use Capture One to do the same thing, check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.